Hi, this is Kelly, and in the Journal of Nature, there's a story about the oldest fossil of the Homo sapien, which is the modern man. That is when our brain uh, became the brain we have today, uh, which they believe is a brain that evolved from an animal believed to have eaten meat. And the protein in the meat, they believe, and I think there's five things that they think that they got from the meat, made the brain evolve from an animal. So that is the theory and why everybody puts so much meat on their plates and why Homo sapiens eat meat. So here is the information I have that's in nature. They have found in 1967 in Kibish, Ethiopia, the oldest fossil to date of the modern man, the Homo sapien. And this skull is just like our skull today, right? Okay, how do they know the date of this? Well, the volcanic ash around it is, is younger than the skull that's in it. And they know the date of the volcanic ash. So they dated about 195,000 years ago. And that's when uh, we basically, that's the oldest fossil we have of the brain we have today. So why is this so interesting? Well, I'll tell you. Frank Brown, the dean at the University of Utah, um, he's a specialist in earth science. He states that this is 150,000 years, this modern man, before the arrow, the cave art of hunting animals, uh, harpoons for fishing, all the violent things that we do to animals came 150,000 years later, right? So that sort of uh, squashes the theory that we got our brain from meat. Otherwise, there would be tons of evidence and discoveries of things that are this old that show killing animals. So we don't have those now. So now that probably finishes the question, did, our, did we get this brain from eating animals? The answer would be no. Did, we, did that brain eat a little bit of meat? Most likely, but not very much if it did at all. Because, I know, why would you? If you're, if you're content with eating fruit and vegetables and nuts and uh, hunting and gathering, there would just be no natural violent streak to have to go and kill an animal. And chimpanzees are 99% the same DNA. And uh, look how strong they are. They're four times stronger than the human man and they don't eat meat. Well, they, they may eat a tiny bit, and they eat some bugs, but that's not their primary diet. And hello, look at the bull, how strong it is. Where do you think it gets its protein from? So that question that we need our protein from animals is incorrect. We can get all, our body can make everything. Our body can make it. And what it can't make, it can get in like flax seed and chia seeds, and so, I don't know, I'm on the raw food diet, I'm eating no fish or meat, and I've never felt more clear-headed, excited about life, uh, able to focus. I've never felt this good in my life, and I've never looked this good in my life, and I'm in my 50s, and so I'm really putting that question out, whether we did get the brain from eating meat or not, and maybe Frank Brown can answer that if a few more people interview him. All right, so you tell me what you think. Give this a thumbs up if you'd like to try the raw food diet and see what your brain is like without me. And subscribe and follow me.